Hey everyone, my name is Anthony Bouchon, and I'm a specialist customer engineer working on Kubernetes at Google. Today I'm here to discuss the Kubernetes Gateway API, and specifically multi-cluster gateways. As you may have seen in previous videos from this series, the Gateway API unifies Kubernetes service networking under a new core set of resources that are consistent across multiple gateway implementers. This consistency comes from a core set of functionality that each gateway implementer must satisfy. However, the Gateway API also provides each of these implementers with flexible conformance. This basically means that they can build in additional functionality into their gateway controllers atop the required core feature set. Users are exposed to this via the gateway class resource, which is specific to each implementer. This is where we get these additional features. And in fact, this is how multi-cluster gateways are possible. Gateway controllers with specific multi-cluster gateway classes can configure a gateway to target routes and their corresponding services across multiple Kubernetes clusters. This opens up multiple possibilities from a load balancing and networking perspective for users running a multi-cluster architecture, from those who are separating pre-prod and prod environments to those who are serving different geographic regions, all with multiple clusters. The example that we'll be looking at today is a scenario in which a developer runs two versions of a service foo, one that is running in a production environment or a production cluster, and the other that is running in a canary environment or a canary cluster. Each of these clusters and their respective services will be targeted behind a single multi-cluster gateway. We'll be demonstrating this in GKE. In GKE, there are two gateway classes that have multi-cluster support. The first is a gateway class for the global external load balancer. And the second is a gateway class for the regional internal load balancer. Today, our example will be utilizing the latter. So let's actually take a look at how we configure a multi-cluster gateway. So let's start by looking at the pods for the Foo service utilizing the kubectl crew plugin MC. This lets us loop kubectl commands over both the prod cluster and the canary cluster. And essentially, as you can see here, when we run this, we've fetched our pods that are running for the Foo v1 service in the production cluster and the pods that are running for the Foo v2 service in the canary cluster. Now let's look at the gateway manifest. Notice that we are not utilizing a new resource here we are still using the core gateway resource. What's different here is that we are referencing a new gateway class, specifically a multi-cluster gateway class for the regional internal load balancer. This enables this load balancer to essentially target multiple clusters and the services running on them. Finally, we still have our label selector to bind the appropriate routes to this gateway. Speaking of routes, we'll switch over to the HTTP route resource. If you'll notice, we have the proper labels here to bind to this gateway. And when we actually specify our routing rules, we have a new custom resource that is specified here called a service import. Service imports are automatically created for users when setting up their multi-cluster gateway. This allows for the GKE gateway controller to target services across multiple clusters. And you'll see, in fact, we're doing just that, targeting foo v1 and foo v2. Outside of that, the rest of the HTTP route manifest is non-specific to multi-cluster gateways. We're still utilizing the expressiveness of the Gateway API to define traffic, uh, traffic weighting between Foo v1 and Foo v2, with Foo v1 getting 80% of the traffic and Foo v2 getting 20% of the traffic. So let's actually see this multi cluster gateway in action. We will start by grabbing the internal IP address of the regional internal load balancer. And we'll see here that it's 10.138.0.37. We'll then take that IP address and switch in context into a client host, which is just a VM running in the same VPC as a regional internal load balancer and the Kubernetes clusters. We'll see that we'll be getting a majority of traffic served from the production cluster and the Foo v1 service and a minority of traffic being served by the Foo v2 service in the Canary cluster. This is just one example of what multi-cluster gateways have to offer, essentially extending the multiple capabilities that the Gateway API provides, as well as the specific functionality that implementers bring to the table to a multi-cluster environment. To recap what we demoed, we created a multi-cluster gateway utilizing a gateway class with multi-cluster support. And then we utilized the expressiveness in the Gateway API to implement traffic weighting across two clusters. This is just, again, an example of the possibilities for what can be accomplished in a multi-cluster architecture when utilizing the Gateway API. To learn more, check out the Gateway API 
and the GKE Gateway Controller Docs. My name is Anthony Bichon. Thank you for spending this time with me and take care. Thank <laughs> you.